Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Chris, your NFL writer here at OccupyFantasy.com, here with a look at some NFL DFS picks for the quarterback position here in Week 13. As always, please subscribe to the channel below, like the video, leave a comment. If you have any questions about quarterbacks, we'd be happy to talk to you down there. You can also consider joining our Discord. A link to do so is above the description of every video. Uh, get in there, you can talk to other Occupy staff and members about every single DFS slate, every single day. We'd love to see you in there. Here in Week 13, we have... Uh, just four teams on by, and a few of the more marquee teams are unavailable on the main slate. No Cowboys, no Chiefs, for example, I think are the big ones. Um, seven 1 p.m. games on this 11-game slate, four 4 p.m. games. And a quarterback that is playing in one of those 4 p.m. games that I think should warrant a lot of consideration this week is Baltimore Ravens starting quarterback Lamar Jackson. The Pittsburgh Steelers are not a very good pass defense. They're in the bottom quartile of the league, bottom 25%, and they're a pretty poor rush defense as well. So that's not very good when you're facing a quarterback who is one of the very best in the league right now in both areas of the game. Obviously a little tough game against Cleveland on Sunday Night Football for Lamar last week. A lot of interceptions in that game. Hopefully he'll be a little more efficient here. Uh, Pittsburgh is allowing the second most rushing yards per game to opposing teams in the NFL this year. So when you have a guy like Jackson who accounts for a significant portion of his team's rushing yardage, you'll like to see something like that for his matchup. I think we may have the return of Arizona Cardinals quarterback Kyler Murray this week against the Chicago Bears. Is practicing here on Wednesday afternoon according to local beat writers. So it seems like he is trending towards making his return in week 13. Uh, we'd love to have Kyler Murray back on the table as an option. And we know what he's capable of. Um, when he's fully healthy. Been a few weeks since we've seen him. Going to have to give him a little further consideration with the Cardinals. Decent favorites this week against the Bears. I'm not sure how we're going to handle Kyler Murray yet, but he is certainly another option that we're going to be looking at. Jalen Hurts. Wish Jalen Rager didn't drop a, bunch, a couple of touchdown passes at the end of that game. Might have had a little bit of a different box score result here, but obviously interception struggles of his own. Something he had in, co in common with Lamar Jackson for these mobile archetype QBs in Week 12. Week 13, looking for a bounce back here against the New York Jets on the road. The Jets are really bad as a defense against all phases of the game. Uh, allow the most yards per play to opposing offenses at 6.1 yards per play right now. They're right up there uh, with Kansas City. And with Kansas City having been playing better over the last few weeks, I think we can firmly say this is a much better matchup for a quarterback right now. The Jets are also allowing 266 passing yards per game to opposing teams this year. So this could be a week where Hertz actually does a little bit more with his arm, even though the Eagles have a very run-heavy game plan. In this middle range of pricing, below some of these higher price guys, 7,000 here on DraftKings, 8,000 on FanDuel. Maybe an interesting option to consider in lowest contests. Derek Carr with the Las Vegas Raiders facing the, a Washington football team defense that... Kept Russell Wilson and the struggling um, Seahawks in check. I do think that Derek Carr, after his nice showing on Thanksgiving, has a really good chance to have a good game here uh, in Week 13 against the Washington football team. I do think this game is actually a little off the beaten path as a potential game stack opportunity as well. Game is a 48.5 point total, according to oddsmakers right now. Uh, and we also have Taylor Heineke on the other side of this game will be an interesting consideration for game stack lineups. Feels like we talk about him every single week when it comes to highest implied team totals when it comes to game stacks. It's obviously the GOAT himself, Tom Brady with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, going on the road to face the Falcons. Huge favorite this week in Week 13. Um, Tampa Bay still passing the ball more than any other team in the league. I know we had Leonard Fournette get into the end zone four times on Sunday, and only one of those was a passing touchdown. So a little bit of a lower statistical output for fantasy football players than we wanted from Tom Brady in Week 12. Look for that turnaround here in Week 13. Atlanta is allowing the third most fantasy points per game to opposing quarterbacks on the season, and now they get to face Tom Brady. So definitely not a good spot for Falcons fans. A good spot, though, if you want to play Tom Brady in DFS here in Week 13. The Chargers and the Bengals are probably going to be the most popular game that people stack this week. And so obviously that means we have to look to Justin Herbert and the Chargers on the road against the Bengals as one of the main options in tournament lineups this week. Chargers are second only to Tampa Bay in terms of team pass rate. So this is a team that looks to throw the ball downfield quite frequently. Justin Herbert targeting uh, Keenan Allen very frequently, more than double any other player on the team. So got to like his chances to have some statistical success here against the Bengals. And then obviously on the other side of the game, we're going to have to take a longer look at Joe Burrow 
quarterbacking the Bengals at home. They're three-point favorites in this 51-point total game against the Chargers. Got to like the opportunity for Burrow to connect with his favorite uh, wide receiver, his old college buddy, Jamar Chase, especially here in this game. Should be an interesting opportunity to stack those guys together in this matchup. Some other quarterbacks I think I may be looking at. Not entirely sure right now. He is obviously reportedly dealing with nagging back injury, and that's never a good thing. But Matthew Stafford with the Rams. Giant favorite here against the Jaguars. Not entirely sure. This is a game stack opportunity in lineups, but definitely can see some Ram stacks being uh, worth considering this week. Mentioned Taylor Heineke as the other side of that game with Derek Carr. Like Derek Carr, obviously, with an opportunity to get over the 300-yard bonus. He's done that quite a bit this year. But Taylor Heineke, a little bit of a mobile skill set. Certainly an interesting option. Some guys here in the middle range that I think I'm avoiding. Russell Wilson, the Seahawks, just not particularly playing well right now, so it's sort of off my radar. Tua Tagovailoa with a decent matchup here against the Giants. The Giants are going to be deploying backup quarterback Mike Glennon in this game, though, so that may actually keep this game from being high scoring as a pretty low total. I think it's just 42 points last I looked, so I'm not sure I'm going to do that. And then the 49ers. The thing here is you know Kyle Shanahan loves to run the ball, so keep an eye out on a running back video. I think I'll have more thoughts in there about what to do with the 49ers offense. But uh, Seattle is, is pretty bad at getting first downs this year. They're like the second worst offense at moving the sticks behind only the Houston Texans. So just don't think the passing game may be asked to do too much for the 49ers, especially uh, potentially without their best weapon in Debo Samuel. So not sure I'm going to go to Garoppolo. Kirk Cousins against the Detroit Lions. Another interesting option here. Should be a high scoring offense against the worst team in the league. A lot of places we can go with quarterback this week. A lot of good high priced options, some good value options. Uh, We'll make sure that we summarize everything and give you our favorite expensive and value plays by Friday afternoon. That is when the daily plug is posted at OccupyFantasy.com. Go over not just our favorite quarterbacks, but obviously favorite running backs, wide receivers, tight end plays, defenses that you should be considering. And most importantly, how to deploy those plays in the type of contest that you're playing, whether that's a low-risk contest, that would be a head-to-head, a 50-50, or a double-up, or a high-risk contest, that would be you know a tournament, small-field contest, high-risk contest, the millionaire maker. Um, definitely important to make sure that you're playing DFS appropriately for the style of contest you're in. That's the most important part of the plug that we publish. Really recommend that you check that out. Once again, folks, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment below. Those things certainly help us out, and we love it when you do that for us. As always, for Occupy, I'm Chris. Thank you for watching. And we'll talk to you soon.